A Panama drought threatens the canal and global supply chains. Let's take a look. Hello, this is Chart GPT Today. Yes, there's a story out here recently that the Panama Canal is being threatened by drought, and of course that's affecting the shipping and global supply chains. First quick off here, here's a, here's a quick look at what the Panama Canal is, and there's the different locks and lakes that, that a ship would has to go through. They have to step up and then step down. Of course, that lake in the middle there, if it drops to a certain level, and ship the heavy these big huge ships can't get through that area so that becomes a problem for for ships in that and they might run aground and they have all these ships aground so they can't let that happen a little bit of history here it took 33 years to complete the panama canal it opened in 1914 a long time ago and it's expanded recently with the panama canal expansion of a third set of locks that was completed and the transit time usually takes about eight to ten hours to get through the panama canal of course, if you go around the tip of South America, uh, that basically doubles the time and the cost of the transit. So obviously, it's a quite valuable thing to do. It's a long way around to get through uh, to the other side of the U.S. by ship. It's cheapest and the best way to get large amounts of products around the around the world. And of course, it's not just from the U.S. side west. It's obviously other ships transiting from the Pacific to the Atlantic. About 14,000 ships transit the canal annually, carrying over 2 million tons of cargo. So there you go. Of course, recently, the with this uh, drought situation, and there's one report here from Business Insider. They said that some ships are, you know, because of the, the late fees that are involved with some of the shipping, they paid $4 million just to jump, jump the line. So, yeah, a lot of money at stake, a lot of delays and in, in different things that they're doing. So it's becoming a, quite an issue. Of course, there's a kind of a geo map that shows you some of the ships that are clogged up on both sides of the canal uh, so they're seeing that they're uh, basically saying that this is a El Nino drought weather phenomena others say it's climate change well, let's not get into that debate but you can see here that uh, both that's pictured in the inset picture uh, they had to unload to make it not so heavy and then ship parts of parts of the load by rail and recombine it later so it's obviously creating a lot of extra costs in shipping so that's going to raise some costs and inflation obviously on products that people buy though so shipping has recently been down a tick uh the slack is gone and so ship, shipping rates are set to to skyrocket so we'll see that here shortly i don't know about skyrocket but certainly go up here's where the uh, the feet level of that lake again gatton lake normally it's around uh you know around 87 80 you know, almost 90 feet uh the low parts were around 80 82 of course now we're tracking well below that here under just under 80 so you can see that the levels of the that lake are quite concerning causing people to have restrictions on how much you know um, cargo they can ship through there lightening up the loads etc cetera, etc cetera. and and delays of course here's the uh, a recent chart on the delayed reservation slots currently there's your you know they call them panamax and neo panamax i guess they have these different sizes you can see the description of the sizes of the containers that they ship through but you can see where they it was basically dropping oh, I would say anywhere from 40 to 50 percent there so they're they're dropping of course here's more of a trend data on that you know, average Panama transits uh, compared and they have been uh, basically coming down but not massively so but the, we haven't seen these restrictions just recently put in place so these numbers are set to change to go worse and of course, what are you thinking costs? Well, they're already starting to have surcharge. The, the yellow line is the surcharge, and, and the red line is the 20-day forward. So we're talking 6 to 8% uh, additional charges in, in fees, which can be considerable. We asked the AI what's, what has been the importance of the Panama Canal on, on global sh supply chain. Take a look at that. And take our online poll. Do you think this drought is going to worsen and, and have major effects or, or minor effects going forward here? Check out the description box and the post link to do that. And don't forget to subscribe.